Through the Boy from Present Toys, their version of Marty McFly from Back to the Future, it's the 1-6 scale figure we are going to check today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. Here is the art box that our Marty McFly comes with through the boy. Here in the center, you can see with a clock over there. Very back to the future style, this art box. In the side, just present toys. And in the back, as usual, just the warnings. Let's see what we have inside. Inside here, in the first layer, we got our figure with some accessories. And we start here just with this uh, piece of newspaper, same one as the Marty McFly from Hot Toys comes with and you got the stickers for your jacket as well. We got as well Marty backpack and we can compare it with the Hot Toys one I have here in my left hand. They feel almost the same, the present Toys one is a bit larger, the material feels cheaper and lack a bit of detail here and there, but overall I think it does the job. We got as well Marty Walkman and comparing with the Hot Toys well, I think this is a recast from the Hot Toys one, but they missed some details. The decals on the front are not there. The plastic does feel a bit cheaper and more light. And the headphones, they they look okay, uh, but I still prefer the Hot Toys one for sure. I still think this present Toys one, once you pose it with a figure, will do the job just right. This present Toys version comes with Marty sunglasses and with his black watch too. The black watch is a bit rough on the paint job and the sunglasses are very simple too. You got as well four extra ends, very common ends. I think the color is too pale for Marty, but we will check about that later. Then in the second layer we still have a couple of accessories, we got of course Marty skateboard and comparing it with the Hot Toys one you can see that carbon copy but still a bit shorter. The Hot Toys one is longer, the colors are a bit better too and the wheels here on the present Toys one they are difficult to move but the Hot Toys one move pretty well. But I think they are very similar if you check them side by side there are almost no any difference. And with the present Toys version you got as well the black guitar that Hot Toys only offered with the deluxe version of Marty 1.0. This is the accessory I probably want to keep for myself because I have Marty 2.0. The guitar is well done, I do like the details, I think it's a nice piece, although a bit rough paint application I still think looks good. And then our display base through the boy, just an oval base, not much more than that. Taking a closer look now at our figure and we will start here with the head sculpt, let me open his legs. This is a head sculpt that I think is a recast from an artist, a custom artist, but in my honest opinion I don't like much the paint application on this. And it's very different from the Hot Toys one, not that the Hot Toys is a perfect head sculpt, but as you can see there are a lot of difference between them, it's like the present Toys one is a younger brother and uh, the Hot Toys one is the older brother. But the outfit is very very similar, this is a complete copy from the Hot Toys one, but the material, let me tell you, does feel different, it's not the same material in the jacket, you feel that the material is a bit different, but they did all the same patterns and the same colors as the Hot Toys version. Talking about the tennis, because Present Toys did show the Nike logo on the tennis and I wanted to keep them, but in fact they didn't do it. Overall, for the price you pay, if you don't have a Marty and you cannot find one for affordable price, I still think this uh, Present Toys one it's not horrible, I just don't like much the head sculpt. The outfit quality, it's quite good actually, not as good as the Hot Toys one. I don't like much these hands, I think they don't fit well this figure, but it's a easy fix. As for our Marty articulation, the head you can rotate sideways without any problem, upwards and downwards is a bit restricted. The elbows have a normal articulation, but I really don't like these hands. The torso have also a good movement, and then in the legs, you have a single jointed knees, but it's no problem for this figure, there are not many action poses that you will do. Then on the tennis, on the shoes, you can rotate well and the socks you need to adjust too because they always keep coming down and don't look that good. Comparing both side by side you can see the present Toys one is much taller than the Hot Toys version and I think this is an issue because if you have let's say Doc from Hot Toys 
it will not match with his uh, present toys Marty. But here we have Marty McFly from present toys. It's a third party figure, I still think you can get the Hot Toys version at stock in many stores and if you have the chance I would grab that one. That's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next one.